Hello and welcome to Low Budget Gaming and welcome to my beginner's guide for Darkest Dungeon. So a few people have asked me to make a guide for this video and I thought I'll make a very simplified uh, walkthrough style of guide so I can give you the basics of the game at the start, get you started and then hopefully you can use the tips and tricks in this video and continue your journey as well. So first up we have to go at the very beginning start of the game and pick the different DLCs in this game because that also matters in terms of difficulty so I'll make a new one here uh, let's just make a new one now when you open here depending on which version of the game you got I'm assuming you got the full ancestral version you'll have all these DLCs now you can disable butcher circus because this is a PvP mode you don't need that musketeer is a different class crimson court is a new area in the game new dungeon basically and you can disable this if you're playing this for the very first time districts is something there to upgrade your buildings and it can generate some revenue for you you can leave this on not a big deal color of madness is also a new area but it's not as difficult and doesn't change the game as much as crimson court so you can leave this on uh, shield breaker flagellant and musketeer so these are the extra heroes you can keep them on flagellant i think came with crimson court and is a very interesting character uh, so yeah we'll keep everything else leave uh, the butcher circus and the crimson coat off so this is the first thing which DLCs to go through now next is the difficulty so darkest the middle one is the normal mode it's still pretty hard but this is supposedly the full version the original version let's say radiant is the easier mode when it when we say easy it's not that easy it's just leveling up characters is faster so you can play this I would recommend you start with this one Stygian has time limits and things like you can only lose a certain number of heroes now if you select crimson code this is a different difficulty with even more things so yeah just go with radiant if this is your first run so we'll call this uh, guide 2022 and yeah let's just get started all right so I've skipped the cutscene etc you can watch that if you want and we'll go straight into the in-game tutorial I guess and I'll use this opportunity to explain things a bit more as well so the way we start off is basically you have rooms in a dungeon and these are the sort of paths to the dungeon and you have to go from room to room and you encounter things on the way and then in the room now normally we have four characters at the moment here we have two heroes here uh, most dungeons will go with four this is the tutorial so they only have two we have Reynold the Crusader class and then Highwayman uh, Dismas now these two are very very good characters you have quite a lot I think 17 or 15 in total heroes and you can use different combination of characters and he I mean heroes to set up your party but there will be four all the time and depending on your strengths and weaknesses or your preferred style of how you play or the dungeon in which you are going for example each has some abilities for different style of dungeon Reynold here is very good in one dungeon called the ruins so anyway now the way this works is the position of your characters and the position of your enemies matters quite a lot so Reynold is in first place Dismas is in second you'll have two more here similarly enemies will have up to four in uh, this order and if you look at them they have abilities that they can use only from certain positions and target enemies in certain positions so if you see here the yellow dots mean the position he can use this ability in so he's standing in first place he can use this ability in first and second smite and he can target enemies in the first and second place similarly for Dismas if you see here he can stand in one two and three but he can only target people in one and two it also gives you like some information about the uh, attack and what it does etc so very simple concept now what we need to do is move to this room you can click uh, right, left click with your mouse or you can use the uh, D button on your keyboard to move brigands have run up these lanes keep to the side path the so yeah you can go back and forth with a and d so we'll use d and move now sometimes we run into people now you just saw that this is stress now you have health and you have stress 
So unlike other games, you have to manage both these things. Most games, you just have to worry about your health. Here, you also have to worry about stress. And the reason for stress is you are going in these deep, dark, horrifying dungeons. So not only are you worried about your health of your hero, but also the stress it causes them. So let's uh, keep going. Also remembered, uh, torch. So up here, you'll see the light. If your light is... Hang on, let me just enable the cursor. So now torch, something else I want to mention because this is quite important. If it's very brightly lit like this, for example, it says radiant light 94, it goes up to maximum 100. You get better dodging, better scouting and monsters have a higher chance of getting surprised. If the tor torch is dimmer or if the light isn't as radiant, you have a better chance of getting loot but the monsters get more... Uh, aggressive I guess they do more damage they're not surprised so again if you're playing this for the first time keep this as bright as possible so this here around 75 if the light is here you'll be very good this should be okay as well but if it starts going below 50 then you might start seeing some issues also in the background you hear more noises and more scary sounds when it gets darker so that increases the atmosphere so yeah if you're playing for the first time maybe keep the light on as much as possible. An so, ambush. Send these vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. Now, so we have our first fight. We have only one enemy. If you hover over him, you see his health. He has 12 health, one action remaining. Human enemy, he has dodge. You don't worry about all the stats here. Just look at the health for now. So now the game has a sort of invisible dice roll and depending on the speed of your character somebody goes first so this time Dismas the highwayman is going first it doesn't matter which order they are in uh, you'll have random uh, characters go first so this time Dismas is going first and now we only have one guy here nobody in second third or fourth place so you have open vein available to us and we have grape shot available to us so the grape shot he can use from second and third position and it hits one two and three you only have one guy and then we have the open vein he can hit people in one and two and this guy is standing in one so we can use this now what this does is it does some damage to the enemy and also it puts a bleed effect so basically two points of health will reduce every time there's a turn for that guy for the next three turns so it helps because we are sort of depleting their health without actually doing anything. So we'll use this um, open vein attack and hit them. Oh wow, this was a very good hit. We hit him for 11 and he also put a bleed on him. So for the next 5 rounds, okay I don't know if this is just the um, tutorial but normally it's like 2 or 3 rounds. So this guy will get 2 damage on his next turn and he only has 1 health. So he'll die before doing anything. So basically we don't really need to do anything. Now it's Reynolds turn. We can hit him with, with this uh, attack. We can use zealous accusation. All of these you see are only stuff he can use in one and two. And he can buff himself. So because we don't really need to hit him, what we'll do is we'll just use either this move back ability. Now this move back is useful if your party gets shuffled around because enemies some enemies do that as well and because I said some people are very good in certain positions if your character is thrown out of position they can become useless for example Reynold here all his attacks are in first and second position so if, if he gets pushed to three for example you can't really do much and only thing you can do is probably change his position so let me show you that so if we click here we switch positions and you see his turn came and he died we get some loot every time uh, we kill someone and now there's another button here this one default party order so when you click this it puts the party back in default position maybe because this is the um, uh, tutorial we can't do that so we'll just use this here and switch and we'll continue on to the room now this is something called a curio so you can interact with these and in different places you'll see different things sometimes you have to use certain items on them to get uh, things 
they can give you some extra stuff or they can give you a quirk like a negative thing or even a positive one so here we'll just look at inside the tent and see what we get we got some money nothing unchecked there is much to be found in forgotten places all right second fight in brutal fashion that all may once again this must goes first and look at the light here it's down to 70 so you can see here a little more stress and more chance of the monsters critting you so what we'll do is we have two enemies however this guy is quite big he's taking up first and second position this guy is in third place so uh, Reynold won't be able to do much to this guy and we have this much. now this guy has 35 health he has no dodge basically so uh, we should be able to hit him and very low speed so he tends to not go first what we'll do is we'll hit him and hopefully we'll get a bleed on him so we start chipping away at his health now generally people at the back in darkest dungeon enemies in three and four they are usually more dangerous because they inflict like damage to the entire party they cause a lot of stress the people at front they can hit for like hard damage like they can do a lot of damage in one hit but they're generally not as scary in terms of like adding stress and other things so normally when you have a full squad try to go for the people at the back first take them out and then everybody can work on the guys at front and also people at the back are harder to reach for some people like for example I told you with uh, Reynold hitting people in third and fourth is harder with the abilities we have there are other abilities that you can set up but it's easier to hit people at the front so we'll start off with open vein and hope he puts a nice bleed on this fat man so eight and he resisted the bleed so we did not get the bleed now he shot both of them this must dodged it and Reynold got hit okay now he put bleed on Reynold now if we had bandages we get some items if we had bandages we could have used that so now it's Reynolds turn what we'll use is the big smite attack and try to do more damage on the big guy and he missed even though this guy has no dodge I mean this must uh, Reynold missed it so now we'll go and or should we try the guy at the back we can use a shot on this guy and hopefully do some damage he's only got 12 health 7 nice both of them dodged nice you see he's losing health every round because of the bleed now we'll try and smack the big guy again 8 not bad he's down to 19 oh my god look at that not only has he hit us hard we've also uh, got a bleed and also got a bit of stress luckily okay now what should we do Reynold let's hope we get the uh, bleed on the big guy this time we got the bleed two two per round he's still bleeding but the bleed is gone now so let's try and hit him hard again and see if we can get rid of the big guy so he's only got six health now if he targets Reynold we are dead oh no it did but it didn't do too much both of them have bleed Reynold is in bad shape I will right, we'll try and take out the big guy yes big guy is out has no intrinsic merit unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue now okay let me let him finish his now when the enemies die they leave their corpses behind and this takes up the position they were in so this guy is still in third now sometimes you can clear the corpses like if we keep hitting the corpse it'll take damage and once it goes down to zero this guy will move up but Reynold is in bad shape right now so what should we do we can't we'll give him some food hopefully can we use the food we can't apparently it's, uh okay let's just hit this for now okay this must this must let's see if we can get rid of the corpse all right so now you can see now he's in first place oh nice dodge nice dodge he's is very low his health is like down to like what three or something 
three here. All right, let's hope we can finish him with this attack. Yes. That was close. For a tutorial, we nearly lost our Crusader. That's how bad this game can be sometimes. So now we have completed the quest, which was the tutorial section. We can go to the hamlet, which is like the starting area, the main hub area. Or we can continue adventuring. So what we'll do is I'll continue adventuring because I want to open the chest and see what's inside. So we'll select Dismas because if there's something bad, Reynold could get hit or die or something. So, in fact, we can feed him. See, if you feed him a little, you'll get some health back. So, let's open this. It's trapped. And there was like a blight or something and he resisted that, luckily. So, now we just click on the quest complete here and go to the town, the hamlet. We got 5000 reward. We get some heirlooms. We need these heirlooms to upgrade the buildings in town. I'll explain them later when they open up. But for now, okay, he's got a healer's gift. 20% healing skills when camping. Now, camping is another skill that comes into play later on. This will be a bitch to edit. Alright, so we are in the hamlet. Now, each turn is... A week in this game so if you go on a quest to like a dungeon and you come back a week passes these are the buildings at the moment we need to upgrade all of them this is the nomad wagon kits and charms gathered from all the forgotten corners of the earth these are trinkets that you can equip on your heroes that give you some you know extra perks I guess we also have this is the you can watch the cutscenes here basically you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Graveyard, when your hero dies, they'll be here. here. Covered in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. And then finally we have the stagecoach. So every week we get new heroes coming in. Women and men, soldiers and outlaws. And now Fools you can equip, I mean, you can select them. And every week you get more people coming and there will be like 15, 17 different type of uh, heroes. So we already have a Crusader and a Highwayman. We also have a Plague Doctor and a Vestal who is a healer. So we'll pick the Vestal and we'll pick the Plague Doctor. Now all these buildings, all these places can be upgraded. So for example if you upgrade the stagecoach, we'll have more people arriving every week. We need these because obviously heroes will die and of course you want to try out different formations different uh, team setups I guess depending on your preferred playstyle so let's see what's here you can upgrade them if you want so at the moment because this is right at the start of the game we will uh, upgrade the stagecoach here because this helps get more people in we'll upgrade everything but I'm prioritizing the stagecoach because we need more new people at the start we don't have people so we'll upgrade this and we'll upgrade this here. Foolishly seeking fortune and glory. So next week we'll get four, up to, uh, we should get four new people. We have up to ten uh, in the barracks so we can have ten people. And we can upgrade the hero barracks as well so we can hold more. But at the moment ten is enough because we only have four. Now we can go and on a quest. These other buildings will open up after we return uh, from one or two quests. So let's go into the dungeon first and do a proper run with four heroes. A mecca of madness and morbidity. So this is your main uh, map of the game, I guess. So different dungeons you have to go through. So this is the darkest dungeon, the main one. Uh, this is at the end, the boss fight, I guess. Ruins, Warrens, Wield and Cove. There's also Farmstead, which was the Color of Madness DLC. So this is not important. These four are the main dungeons here. And at the moment, we only have the ruins open. Now, it shows here what we have to do in this quest. Test yourself in the mad realm of your fallen ancestor. Take note of how the creatures have taken over, but don't delve too far. This means there is no camping involved. It's a short dungeon. I'll try and do a camping quest as well, so you have an idea of what happens there. And this is level 1 apprentice, so easy as it gets. And your goal is to explore 90% of the room. So it will give you the map of the dungeon. 
and you have to explore 90 percent of the rooms that's it you don't have to like take every fight go everywhere as long as you complete 90 percent you are done and then these are the rewards you'll get 3000 gold four crests and stun charms so if you saw me upgrade that stagecoach you need these things along with a couple of other things so now you first get your party ready now remember i told you about the position of your characters so these two are in one and two they are fine for now we'll look at the other two here so this is uh, the western the healer now she has some stats here all of them have this page here these are the abilities available to her uh, these are the camping skills once again camping skills we don't need right now for this mission so this one here is the mace bash she can use that in position one and two and hit people in three uh, and one and two as well this one here divine grace she can use from three and four and she, this is like healing yourself so you can target any um, member of your party next one is divine comfort once again she can use it from two three and uh, four and then this is illumination she can use from one two and three and hit all four people on the enemy team so this ability will conflict with the others from the other two guys see if we see dismus here dismus can use this in two three four two and three one two three four and this one he can only use in one two three and four so what i'm going to do is which is something i don't often do is i'll put dismus in three and i'll put the vestal in two so if we put her now in two i think she should be able to use all her abilities you can use this in one and two three and four she won't be able to use this uh, she won't uh, she will be able to use this um this is kind of important this is her main ability three and four so i guess we'll have to sacrifice her ability and put her in three so what will happen is we won't be able to use this maze patch this is like an attack ability we'll have to skip that attack and hope her healing comes in handy and finally we have the plague doctor the plague doctor also a woman by the way i keep forgetting that and she is good in two three four hits one and two this ability uh, she can use from three and four hits three and four on them both of them on the enemy team and this one same three and four and two three four so three and four is her preferred position we'll put her there so this is called red hook this is this team composition i don't know if they have names for each of the different setups but if we switch them around into like three and four this these this is called the usual suspects we'll put them this way because this works better for us now one thing you have to remember with this game it might seem hard but a lot of the difficulty is because you go in not fully prepared so if you spend some time setting up your team correct using the abilities correctly upgrading them taking uh, the right equipment and healing and stuff like that then it's not so bad I feel like people who find this hard it is hard don't get me wrong I've lost a lot of people but it's due to the laziness of not preparing uh, ahead of time I guess so enough talking let's finally get into this first thing we have to do after setting up the team is get some provisions for the dungeon the preparedness measured now in gold later in blood you'll have to take different supplies depending on what region you are going to how long the quest is and your own preferences but always bring some food and torches so now remember this was a short dungeon so we don't need too much what I'll do is I'll take eight food so what happens is you get hunger checks in this game and if you don't have food your characters will get stressed and lose health since we have four people I'm taking eight which is like two rounds worth of uh, food you can also use food to heal up and stuff like that so you can take a bit more this is like the first easy mission so I'm just taking eight similarly you also need torches and it's they said 90% of rooms I'm expecting seven eight rooms if I recall so I think eight torches once again should be enough uh, we'll take a couple of bandages in case we have any bleeds we already have one anti venom and one holy water we'll take one more this skeleton key is for unlocking chests and things like that so I'll take one here and we took bandages shovel now sometimes we run into blockages 
uh, and if we don't have a shovel we take damage clearing the uh, the blockage rubble or whatever it is so we'll take couple it should be enough more than enough I feel so remember torch is very important food is very important these two are like very very important if you sometimes I forget these and it can be a disaster uh, bandages depending on the area may not be necessary at least take one shovel in most places should be enough all right so let's now try our first dungeon I hope everything goes well there are a lot of other things that I'm trying not to mention because they can get a bit overwhelming at the start especially if you haven't played this but remember to like prepare before going into the dungeons to make your life easier so look at the torch 100 right now now here uh, you can select the provisions and the map so this is the map of the dungeon now remember what it said here explore 90 percent of the room so uh basically what it means is you can skip one of these rooms okay so if we go here like this we can go up here and over here or we can go let's say here like this and we'll go here we may skip this one or skip this one or we can just go through all of them if you are feeling confident so at the start we have to go into this dungeon all right let's move first up we get a curio it looks like a free torch. We'll take that. Thank you very much. All right. Reynold got a bit of stress. Remember, Reynold got that big hit in the tutorial. So his stress is already up from that. Stress doesn't go away unless you heal it or they do something to treat it. Health, once you return back to the hamlet, your health is back to full. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Also, look at the torch. It's below, almost below here. So we'll use the free torch we got and keep the light up. The path is clear. Hundred percent torch means less stress as well. All right, first fight. All right, so first we get the plague doctor, and we only have two abilities available because there's nobody in third and fourth. So here we can use a noxious blast or we can use a disorienting blast let's try noxious blast or let's try the disorienting blast because it, this can stun the enemy and also shuffle them out of position so let's try it on this guy on this guy yeah so we stun this guy and moved him in out of position so now he'll skip his next turn because he's stunned so we don't have to worry about him right now now dismas if you remember we use the open vein attack which puts a bleed on characters we are in the ruins this guy is a skeleton he has no blood in his body so this bleed is no use on him so when you come here to places like the um, ruins for example you bring somebody who can do blight damage which is basically a poison so the plague doctor has those abilities but she can only use it on people in the third and fourth position so now we can either shoot someone or we can still attack we'll still get the base damage from this attack we won't get the bleed effect or we can use the grape blast and hit all of them how much health do these guys have eight health let's try a pistol shot on this guy because he's stunned this guy will uh, move next i guess Back to the pit. one shot takes him out and now we can use the vestal so you can see this one is grayed out because she's not in the position to use it Healing, we don't need healing at the moment. And this heals the entire party, this heals one person. So we have illumination. Now, this is an interesting ability because not only does it do damage to the enemy, but it also increases our torch a little bit. So this is 94. Watch what happens. You can see this has gone up by five. So we did a little damage, two damage. And now it's Reynolds' turn. We can just use the smite and hopefully that should finish him off. So this was again very easy first dungeon. We basically destroyed them without even getting a hit. Alright, so we have a, a, a box here. Let's open this, see if there's anything good in here. Shovel, food, and onyx. Alright, let's take that. Alright, switch over to the map and we go to the next room. 
I also keep an eye on stuff in this area because sometimes you have traps and things like that. Okay, so now this is the curio or basically the blockage that I mentioned. Luckily, we have shovels and we got a free one as well from the last box. So we'll use Remember the shovel. Stone seems bent on now, if we did not have a shovel, we would have had to use our hands. That would have resulted in more stress and also more uh, damage to our health. And also notice, Reynolds stress has gone a little down because we used him to finish off the enemies so that also reduces the stress a little bit this is 87 so we'll not use the torch right now once it dips below 75 we can use it if you want to keep it at like maximum radiance and now it dips below and right at the okay now what we'll do is first let's uh, turn on the lights I guess and now we have two one two and three we don't have anybody in fourth so you can see these abilities open up blinding gas stuns and plague grenade puts blight you can see four points for three rounds now as I mentioned people at the back are more deadly so we'll target this person if there was a fourth person they would have also been hit but we only have three so it does very little damage but it puts four blight so every round this uh, character will lose four health and how much do they have they have 13 so this must now once again these two are skeletons but this one is not a skeleton we can't put a bleed but this uh, cannot hit the position three with this attack so we'll use the pistol and hope we get some more damage six not bad remember there's four bleed on this so we she lost four more You see she put 15 stress now she has two health remaining next turn she'll take four damage from the blight she'll be dead so we don't need to worry about her we can now work on these two so Reynold has a stun attack he can hit one and two or he can use zealous accusation which accusation which can hit both one and two so well, let's try this one these will not do as much damage as the single smite attack but it'll hit both of them and these two don't have a lot of health 10 each so even if we do like two or three each that would be good okay wow he just took out that was very impressive I might add now the this is still 90 so we are fine she's taken a little bit of damage if we want we can heal her or we can work on this guy because he's probably going next to get a bit of he's also she's also debuffed her him. oh wow look at this Alright, uh, Reynold, I mean Dismas. Let's use the grape shot. This hits all three of them. See, this one dodged, this one got a debuff. And now we have a plague blast. Let's use this noxious blast and see if we can stun him. No damage, but we added blight. We can't put blight on, uh, is the weapon that cuts on, its own. on skeletons. We can't put bleed on them. Alright, so now he'll take 5 damage and he only has 2 health. So, yeah, what we'll do is we'll just heal the Western. 4 health and she's almost back to full health. And he dies. Get some money and we get a bust. So, there are busts, crests and uh, portraits that we need to collect. And those are used for upgrading the buildings. So, so far we are going very well here. All right, next room. No fight in this room, so that's just good. Now we're getting a scouting here. This will show what's up ahead. So if we zoom in here, we have a move to this room battle with treasure. So this room has a treasure and a battle. This room has a curio and a battle. We can go either way. Let's just go here. Maybe we'll get some nice loot. And there's a curio on the way as well. So there's like a bag here. And now Reynold grabs these things for himself. Which is not good. Now this happens because he may have a yeah, kleptomania. <laughs> so he is prone to stealing items. Now we can treat these things uh, back in the hamlet. So they are not so impulsive and this can actually be a bad thing because sometimes they'll open and touch things that we shouldn't and mess it up for everyone so yeah we need to get rid of this so these are the quirks warrior of light 
10% damage if torch is above 75 so we get a bonus for keeping the lights on I guess and God fearing is in town he'll only pray so there are different ways of relieving stress and he'll only pray so that's not a problem as such but kleptomania is a problem because he'll keep stealing items and sometimes you need these items all right room with the battle and a treasure they are surprised now if the torch is above 75 there's more chance of monsters being surprised as you can see here now what the surprise means is we go first they lose their turn they don't lose their turn but we start first this is a big plus for us now we have the plague doctor so we'll use this on the uh, what is this acolyte and we have dismas now this guy can bleed she can bleed not a bleeder so we'll open the vein on this guy wow nice hit dismas so he's basically killed him 15 he took out 13 health and he did two points of damage so next turn he's going to die without even doing anything this was really good and now we have illumination let's uh, hit this one again she resisted and now it's dismiss now we don't have to worry we, we don't even need to think about this guy let's smite this one oh wow Raynal is on form right now see he plus three so he reduced his stress a little bit just putting some stress on dismiss 15 stress not a problem now we can open the vein here let's see if we can so how much bleed two rounds for the next three rounds only five health remaining uh, disorienting blast all right let's put that hopefully this might stun resisted the stun just losing more health you can see that she's not doing much damage but putting a lot of stress 19 stress all right uh, let's use this still resisted now she only has one health she'll be dead in the next turn so we don't really need to do anything now Reynold also has some healing abilities which we can unlock later I'll show them because these are not all the preferred uh, skills that I want for my characters uh, I guess we can just smack her and reduce some stress their formation is broken maintain the offensive all right so now we have a trash uh, uh, treasure I, I mixed up chest and treasure so this one is a chest with the family sigil we can use something to open this now what would be the ideal thing to use on this a key of course wealth a lot of money and uh, crest awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike not bad more scouting let's see what we get so seems there is nothing in the next room but there is a trap here so let's just move on to the next room and we'll have to deal with the trap on the way uh trap 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 trap, trap. all right so there's a trap here you can see here and now let's just move a little bit because that should show you this thing here now this shows you who is good at disarming the trap so reynold is 60 percent so there's a 60 percent chance he'll disarm the trap dismas here has 90 percent Vestal 50% and Plague Doctor 60%. So Dismas has the highest chance, the high women, of disarming the trap. So we'll use him and he does it successfully. And this also reduces his stress. Now, if you don't notice this, you, are, you might stumble on it, take some damage and increase some stress. So keep an eye on these things because you often hit those. Okay, so light has gone down below 75 Let's keep it above 75 so Reynold does more damage. Spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. So there was nothing in this room, remember. And now we move on to these two rooms, and that should be it. Of oh, Mr. Klepto, I hope he doesn't touch it. He doesn't. Okay, food, jade, and some torch. Okay, not bad. Now remember this scouting thing it's not it doesn't mean that there won't be anybody here if it's scouted then you know what's coming up but a lot of the time you don't get the scouting so anything could pop up 
All right, torch is below 75, 76. See, this is the hunger check I was mentioning. So we need to have food. If we don't, we'll take 20% uh, damage and stress damage. So if we take food, we'll eat the food and get some health. Luckily, we have plenty of food. Turn on the light and all is good. So we don't know if there's a fight or not. So let's see. Nothing. And let's go one more room. Are we getting scouting again? So there is a room battle with treasure. And there's a curio on the way. So final room. All right. Another blockage. We have a couple more shovels. So this is fine. Onwards. Take the final room. All right. So remember what I said about people at the back. We have to focus on these two. This guy will hit all of us with his crossbow. This guy will add stress. This guy may do damage, but he'll probably only hit one or two of these guys. So, and none of them look like they're bleeders because they're all robots. I mean, skeletons. So it's Dismas going first. Let's use the pistol shot and see if we can do some damage to this guy because he's got 15. We may not be able to do 15 in one go. Nine, not bad. Tempting goblet. Little bit of damage, but a lot of stress. So he's going to hit the, oh wow, 15. Okay, so now plague grenade. Let's use the plague grenade on these two. Not a lot of damage, but four damage with the blight. So this guy will take four damage. He's got five health. Oh, that was a big hit. Alright, so Reynold can only hit these two. So let's just work on the big guy first. Alright, so this is now the turn of the Vestal. How much damage did Reynold take? 11. Uh, she's only got two down. He's full health. Five. Should we heal one of our guys or should we just keep attacking them? So this guy has 5 health, he'll take 4 damage next round. Even if you do 1 damage to him with the Vestal, that'll be enough to stop him from hitting us next turn. 2. So that should kill him. Enough to kill him. Oh wow. Yeah, this guy is doing damage. 5 health here. Oh my god, that's a lot of stress. Okay, so he's got 5 health, blinding gas, let's try and stun this guy. Yeah, we stunned both of them, so they'll skip their turns, this guy's dead. And he'll skip his next turn, so he'll take the 4 damage, but he won't do anything. So he's dead, basically. So next turn, he'll take 4 damage without doing anything, and then when his turn comes after that, he'll take 4 more, and he'll die. So we just have to worry about these two now. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's heal Reynold a little bit. Desmas. All right, Desmas. Let's use the grape shot and hit all three of them if we can. Debuffed all of them. Oh my god. See, now you've shuffled him out of position. Nice dodge. All right, Reynold, just smack this guy. Finish him off. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. And he dies because of that blight, and we are now with this guy. Now, Reynold, Dismas, he can still use this. He can still use this. He can still use this. So we'll just use the shot. Almost, almost out. Two health remaining. He's in. Uh, this guy is in. To second position so we can try and disorient him see if it helps yeah we stunned him out of position and only two health remaining and now she's in second place remember I told you she has this she can only use in one and two she can use it now because this miss is out of position now Press this Bam. Give them no quarter. and that's it that is the dungeon complete so we'll 
uh, I'll show you one or two other things. So we'll continue here. Default party order. Click on this and these two will switch positions and go back to the default order. There we go. Um, we can open this. We don't have a key, but it should still open. So let's see. If we have the key, we get like a hidden compartment. If not, we just get some stuff. So we got these two hidden compartment. We have had more stuff. Now we can either go back or if we want, we can go and do the one room remaining if we want, if you're feeling adventurous and if we want to get some loot. Uh, we have four food, is it? No, we have 12. So we have plenty of food. And yeah, let's just do that. Just, just, just want to show you that you, this can be done. You don't have to just leave and go. We just go back and hopefully what we'll do is we'll heal uh, this must with some food here because we have plenty of food and we only need even if we get a hunger check it shouldn't be a problem I don't think we should get the hunger check we have torches and we can collect a little more loot see we got the hunger check I think hunger check happens in the same spot so if we go back to the same spot it happens so we have plenty of food let's eat some more no problem so i think as if we keep coming back here we may keep getting the hunger check all right turn on the light the light the promise of safety now, we haven't been here so oh see there was a trap i did not see mind that such missteps are the and see you got some stress i don't know if i if there was a trap i didn't notice or if it was like one of the invisible types all right surprised because our light was up this guy has 15 health let's start with this guy put a plague nade on him blighted him for four and pistol shot him as well He's down to 6 health with 4 damage remaining. Let's put more work on him. Uh, if she had done 2 here, this guy would have been dead. Alright, now we'll use the zealous accusation on the first 2. Nice work, Reynold. Uh, one more health and he would have... See, if we had hit, her, hit him for one more... Oh wow, these guys are doing work. See, this guy's dead. Alright, uh, let's use the blast. Oh, he missed. Uh, disorienting blast on one of them. Stunned him. Um, should we heal? Yeah, heal uh, Reynold maybe. Oh, we healed everyone. Not by much though. All right, Reynold can use the zealous thing again. Easy. We got thousand anti venom as well. Now this is a curio, and I think we have to use holy water on this. Holy fountain. So let's put this. We'll use the uh, Reynold because he's like a religious character. It's also something that I'm not going to go over right now. But some characters are religious, and uh, it affects certain things. So you got health and reduction in stress so we could have used it on the plague doctor and reduced her stress but yeah now we have completed the whole dungeon so we'll just go back to town we got a bunch of heirlooms deeds and stuff now let's see what we have here unquiet mind may not meditate while in town i thought he was no he he prays but he doesn't meditate fair weather fighter 20 percent damage if hp so if he's full health he'll do more damage wield explorer so wield is another area like the ruins another dungeon 10 percent scouting chance increases if we take this must in the wield fear of beast plus 15 stress versus beast and minus 10 accuracy versus beast so some dungeons have beasts this was i think the unholy so these creatures we fought in the ruins these are called unholy and some are beasts so if we take her in a dungeon with beasts she'll just get more stress and she'll be less accurate 
So we either treat that or take someone else. And the plague doctor, tone deaf, uh, minus 20% stress heal receive. So this is bad. So if you have a character who's good at reducing stress, plague doctor will not reduce her stress as much, I guess. Lurker, 10% damage if torch below 26. So this is an interesting one. More damage if it's darker. Anyway, let's go back to town. The tents are pitched, banners fly, and the corpse wagons stand at the ready. So this is the butcher circus, the, the circus PvP mode. Town. Over here. We'll keep it disabled. We, this is not relevant right now. Now we have these two buildings, the abbey and the tavern. We use these for stress relief. So the tavern fresh kegs, cards and curtain rooms promise solace to the weary and broken alike. So bar, some people will use drinking to reduce their stress, gambling and the brothel of course. And we have the abbey. So the cobwebs have been dusted. Meditation, praying, straight. and flagellation. Calls to the faithful. Now these rooms can be unlocked later when we upgrade it, and you need those things to upgrade these things here. Now, so the plague doctor has quite a lot of stress right now. Let's look at the stagecoach and see who's come to town. We have a shield breaker. Occultist, Abomination, and another Vestal. So we'll just take all of them here. A sister of battle, pious and unrelenting. Now this guy is an Abomination. As far as I can tell, you, as far as I can remember, you can't use him in a party with a religious character. So we can't use Reynold and this guy together. Okay. We have a second uh, Vestal. Let's change, you can change the color by clicking here because they both have the same so I'll make her green so it's easier to tell them apart now she is not good against beasts and so if you are going to let's say a dungeon with beasts we can use her instead okay now these buildings guild and blacksmith these will open after our next dungeon and we need them to upgrade our weapons and armor and stuff like that and learn more skills upgrade the skills as well so for example here this is level one smite is only level one we can make it level two or something it goes all the way up to five so of course more damage done and we can also open up these abilities so we need the guild for this one complete more quest to unlock so let's do one more quest and hopefully when we return this will be open and I can show you that as well. So they're mentioning the farmstead. We can go here, but that's a DLC quest. We can do that later. So at the moment, once again, these things are still closed. We still only have the ruins available to us. So we'll have to go again into the ruins. Uh, so now we have four uh, abil um, quests available. So let's read each of them. So this one is medium. Can see here one camping uh, still level one complete hundred percent of room battles so there may be several room battles and we have to complete all of them we may not know which of the rooms have them but we'll have to explore so this one will give us a gold reward five crest and a punishment hood for the flagellant so flagellant is another character another hero and this is a trinket that can be used with him next one is medium once again Another level one, same complete hundred percent of the battles. Uh, four and a half thousand, two portraits, and another one for flagellant. Next is the same medium level one, hundred percent. We get paralyzer's crest, twenty percent stun skill chance. So this is a trinket for the crusader Reynold. And then finally, this is explore ninety percent of the rooms. This one is. 10% virtue chance and minus 5% max HP. This is for the Vestal, the healer. So what we'll do is we'll go with this one because I want to show you a medium one with the camping. And should we take the same characters? Now, a lot of people take uh, the occultist instead of the Vestal um, for healing purposes. And he has some other benefits as well. But he's unreliable, let's put it that way. So let's see if the other Vestal has some different abilities unlocked. So, with the first one, remember she had this maze bash. This one has judgment, heal, 
illumination and hand of light so she doesn't have the party heal but she has this ability that she can use so she's actually also got one ability that she can only use from the first two positions um, should we give this must a break got the shield breaker here shield breaker is very good um, from like the first positions but we need a little more health she doesn't have a lot of health and also there's something called the nighttime ambush when camping this tends to happen when you have the shield breaker I was hoping I could try somebody different uh, what does the occultist do damage weakening curse heal hand from you see all of them have one or two abilities that they are going to use from the first two positions all right what I'll do is instead of the plague doctor let's take the occultist so we still have the healer holy quaternity okay I did not know about this this is the first time I've seen this name all right so medium so remember when it says medium we need more provisions so let's go for the provisions and take some more this quest involves camping and camping requires firewood firewood is given automatically to you on appropriate quests camping gives heroes a chance to recuperate while in the dungeon when you are wounded or stressed and wish to camp right click on the firewood in your inventory so we can choose when we want to camp usually around halfway or something or before like a boss fight that's the best place so now this is medium okay first one was short we took eight food let's take a bit more here uh, let's say 12 all right let's just be on the safe side and take 16 okay shovels will take uh, three let's go for three uh, ruins ruins we don't really need bandages so I'll just take one medicinal herbs do we need them do we do these guys put I'm trying to remember because certain enemies will attack you in uh, certain ways like all of them put stress on you but some areas they'll put bleed on you some areas they'll put light on you uh, let's take one just in case and we'll take a couple of keys take a couple of holy water laudanum uh, sometimes they put horror on you and you can use this to cure that it doesn't happen too frequently but we'll take one and then torches remember we took eight torches last time around this is a longer dungeon we'll take more let's take 12 let's make it 14 just to be safe okay don't worry about this this is um, something that you can get with the shards which are available in the color of madness the 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 farm farmstead so I think this should be enough for a medium quest okay medium dungeon embark this game is good because you can start this game do a couple of dungeons and then you know go back to your life and if you take your time and do this properly it shouldn't be too hard but of course you will lose heroes they will die RNG will mess things up for you the fiends must be driven back and what better place to begin than the seat of our noble line all right so let's look at the map here look at the map we are getting some oh wow okay so we are starting here there's a treasure here there is a battle here uh curio here and we have to do 100 percent of room battle so we have to take on every fight in the rooms now there could be fights here there could be fights here there could be here but these are the three we know are battles so we have to do this so let's start with this one that's the objective all the room battles need to be done we can skip this one for example this is not a room battle this is on the way like on the path so maybe we could go here we could go here then come back and do this and skip this one it wouldn't matter but these ones need to be done so we start off with a free torch good sign good start and we have the blockage so good thing we brought the, Even the cold shovel stone seems bent on preventing passage oh another curio oh no he's now oh, we need to do something about his kleptomania okay he didn't steal much 200 gold and a set of bandages I guess 
My torch is a little on the low side. Let's turn it on. The match is struck. All right, treasure room with. All right, surprise. Good for us. Good start. So it's Mr. Occultist. Now I'm not a fan of the Occultist. I don't use him a lot. Okay. So I, what I'm saying is I'm not really good with him. So I don't really know what to do with him. Let's try this. Not bad. Uh, Dismas. We are trying to take out one of these guys. So this guy has 6 health, 7 health. Come on, Dismas. Oh, they dodged. Alright. Um, illumination. Let's try. Debuffed. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, now we have the big man up ahead. Crusader. Should we use the Zealous Acquisition? Let's try the stun. So this one, if he lands it, he may stun them. So let's stun this guy. Not a lot of base damage, but he stunned him. So this guy will miss his turn. Tempting Goblet. Oh, stress. A lot of stress. Tempting Goblet on the same character. Oh, wow. We should have taken the other Vestal, I feel. Oh, no. See, they're all hitting her, all working on her. Yeah, we should have brought the other Vestal, I think. None of these are going to bleed, so I'll use the Grey Blast. Oh my god, he missed. See, this is what I mean by RNG things. Look at them. All of them just hitting her. Look at this. She's dead. Ah. Oh. Yeah, come on, not bad. All right, now he can heal. Let's see if he can heal her. Only two, come on. See, that's the thing with him, unpredictable. He can either heal her for 13 or do nothing. So she can at least heal herself. Yeah, she took a lot of beating. Oh my god, they're still attacking her. Yeah, blast. All right, somebody else taking a bit of damage for once. Bloody hell. Oh my god. I've never seen anybody get targeted like this before. Come on, we need to take out one of them. Good shot, Dismas. She's going to die here. Nice one, Reynolds. See, these two are MVPs, man. These two are awesome. Alright, man. Do some proper healing. Come on. Nice. Thank you. See, he did like two last time. He did nine this time. Come on. Heal yourself. Thank God. Well, otherwise, we would have lost her in the first fight. That was lucky. Occultist is unreliable, but sometimes he can come in clutch like that. Alright, Reynold. Let's focus on this guy here. Nice shot. I mean, this must. Um, just heal yourself, woman. Just heal yourself. Nice heal. She's back to full health. And maybe... Heal yourself. Heal yourself. Nice one. And he's put a bleed on himself. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> like, healed himself and put a bleed as well. Nice. Oh, a lot of money. Nice one. Now, we can use a bandage and stop his healing. And these two still need a bit of healing. Should I use the food? No, let's not. Let's start. All right, let's open this. We have a couple of keys. Good start. Not bad. Yeah, it was very touch and go. She was down to one HP there. Okay, let's go back. Uh, let's go here. But yeah, Reynold and this must tend to carry with their big hits. Okay, let's continue over here. We'll go here. We'll skip this one because we'll have an, a battle here. We can go here, look out for stuff here, and then maybe make our way back. Okay, what do we have? 
Okay, we have a curio. Now, if I recall, as the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is a partially clear. intact set of experimental equipment. I don't remember what we are supposed to use on this. Are we supposed to use torches or? I think we have to use herbs on this. Let's just try see what happens. Okay, we got some money. It worked out. So different things can be used on these different curios. There is like a wiki with all the things that you can use. And normally when I play, I have it open on the second screen. Um, you can use that. Okay. Uh, trap. This must... I see it reduces the stress as well. But look at her stress. She's up to 92 stress. This goes to 100. She'll get a quirk. She might become virtuous or something. This is bound to happen very soon. I should have switched. I forgot. I was thinking of bringing the other Vestal, but I put the Occultist and I forgot. All right. Come on, Reynold. This might be a big battle here. Um, okay. This is kind of big. This guy is very annoying. He can do a lot of damage. Okay. So, weakening curse. Let's weaken this guy. I need dodged it. Shit. Uh, grape shot. It won't do much, but a little bit. Five, not bad. Five on this guy is pretty good. Illumination on this guy, please. More debuff. Nice, nice. Let's use the zealous acquisition. Not bad, Reynold. Not bad. So these two are gone. We should have worked on these two. Nice dodge, nice dodge, occultist. See, they're still focusing on her. Everybody knows she's weak. Oh my god. That's a big hit. We don't want to lose Reynold right now. Uh, heal him. Thank you. Oh my god, look at this. They've all just decided to focus on her. And she's pushed to the brink. Okay, that's actually... Stress helped her. Can foster hope and resilience. So she seems to be performing better under stress, let's say. Oh my Death god. Alright, let's just try to finish him. Oh my god, he still survived that. Occultist, uh, do something, man. Good, good. Oh, they're still doing damage here, man. Good one, Reynold. We just cleaned up the mess. We worked in the opposite order. We should have focused on these people at the end. Let's just heal everyone. See if she does more healing. Yeah, we need more healing. Good shot, Desmos. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. That was actually a quite a hard fight. Now, because we don't know what is in these rooms, we'll have to explore them. We should probably give some food to Reynold because he is quite low. Uh, we can still survive three hunger checks. We also need food for camping. So I'm hoping we don't get more than two hunger checks and we'll use four for camping. So let's go here. Now we don't have to use camping, but it helps. Free torch. Packs laden with loot are often See hunger check, just as I mentioned. Got a hunger check and uh, turn on the light. The way is lit. The path is clear. We Sag is empty. Only the strength to follow it. All right, nothing here. Scouting, good, 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 good. Okay, we got some scouting. There's nothing in this room, so we don't have to go there. There's nothing in here, we don't have to go there. But we don't know about this one. So we may have to just go up to here just to make sure there's no fight in that room. Yeah, we're just going back because we don't really have to fight. Oh, we did not get the hunger check. I was worried we might get the hunger check again. Yeah, I don't know how hunger checks work. If we pass the same uh, tile, do we get the hunger check again? Now, we know there's nothing here, but there could be a fight here. 
Curio. Mm, who's got a lot of stress? 4351. He's not a religious character, is he? Uh, come on, let's give Reynold. Okay, another uh, trap. Let's put Dismas on trap duty. Nice, almost down to no stress. And he gets a little stress. Torch is down. The light, the promise of safety. We know there's nothing in this room, but there could be one in the room after this. Okay, nothing here. Scouting. There is a fight, so we had to come here anyway. All right, so we have a blockage. Do we have shovels? We have shovels. Good. Well, another hunger check. We only have two remaining. Oh, damn. How did we... I thought we had 12. Did we use the food on something? I forgot. Okay, now it'll be a problem for camping, though. Unless we find some more food. We may find some food. Okay, we'll try and focus on these two first. Because last time we kind of dragged it a bit by not working on those guys. Alright, try and work on these guys. Nice! Very nice! Now this guy, he has 3 health, 7 health. Let's see if we can get rid of this guy. Two. Oh, he's got 1 health now. Come on, Reynold Dismas. Oh, he dodged. I was hoping that one hit would be enough to take him out. Reynold with the zealous accusation. See, these guys. See, now this is irritating because he'll do some damage. We could have taken him out. He's put stress on Reynold. And yeah, this time it seems Reynold is the target. He's getting a lot of stress here. And again, working on her. Damn. They don't like her. Nice dodger, Dismas. I haven't even equipped Dismas's best attacks, and he's still doing so much work. Oh my god, look at this. Oh no. We need to take out one of them. Oh my god. Okay, she's just got a bit of health for no reason. Um, let's heal everyone. Um, yeah, let's do this again. See if this helps. Nice, he took out both of them. He said something and he reduced his stress a little bit. Oh, wow. Oh no, Reynold is stressed out. He becomes irrational. He was kleptomaniac and now he's... I hear the chirping of birds and the something of donkeys. Nice dodge, nice dodge. He decides to pass. See, this is what happens. He's stressed out, he's become irrational, and he passed his turn. Now he refuses to be healed. Precision and power. He's actually reducing his stress by doing all of this. Alright, let's just use the normal attack. No bleeding, but it'll still be enough to take him out. Alright, come on, Reynold. Thank you. Oh, we got some food. Nice. And now, we are. look at our st stuff here. We are full of items, and we can use this key to open this, and that should free up one slot. Alright, Reynold, open the chest. Okay, holy water and stuff. Now, should we camp? We can camp here if you want. Because we have this battle. We may have to go around and look for other rooms to see if there are any battles. So what I'll do is I'll camp here. So in order to camp, just right click on the firewood. And we are here. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. So, benefits of camping. Two phases. Meal phase and skill phase. During meal phase, you can choose how much they eat, which determines recovery. Make sure you have enough food. Skill phase allows you to spend rest points on different hero skills used for recuperation. 
So first is the meal phase. We only have four. We'll use the four and get some health. 10 HP, 10%. Uh, now we have 12 points we can use. Now each hero has different um, camping skills. So Reynold has um, Anchorage. One, one companion minus 15 stress. So he can talk to one of them and reduce their stress. Stand tall, one companion, 15 stress, removes any mortality debuffs. And then this one is zealous speech, party minus 15 stress, and all companions minus 15 stress for the next four battles, which is pretty good. Reynold, now Reynold has bandit sense. This can prevent nighttime ambush. Uh, cleans guns, so 10% accuracy range skills, 20% uh, damage, 8% crit. So this is a very good skill it'll cost four um, then we have wound so heal remove bleeding remove blight now she has one companion reduce stress one companion accuracy and dodge increase and one companion will be less stressed I guess and now he has again stress thing Abandon hope self stress minus 25 all come so he will reduce his stress, but increase the stress of everyone else and Then finally prevents nighttime ambush so what I'll do is I will use um, Clean guns we will use four of that We'll use the zealous speech thing so reduces the stress. I Don't know if he used that or he refused and uh, Hmm. Let's reduce some stress. Uh, 15 stress reduce. Okay, so now we can rest because I don't think there's anything we can do with one. So we'll rest. Now we have used all of our food. So if we get a hunger check, it'll be bad for us. So we go back here. He's got a lot of stress. 106. This is too much. We'll need to treat this. Because Reynold is a very good character in this game. And once we unlock the abilities and different positions, Reynold can be very powerful. I mean, we get more Crusaders, but every time you have a character. You level them up, upgrade their weapons and stuff, and they die. It's just going to cost you to do that all over again. With the same hero class. Okay, this, we've already been through here, so we shouldn't run into this. We know there's one battle here for sure. These two rooms could be empty, this could be empty, or we may have more battles. So we'll just have to go and explore. See, we got a hunger check and we don't have food. So we'll have to take some damage here. It's a lot of damage. And he's also, look at this stress here. This is not good. We'll skip this curio because we don't want to touch something and increase our stress. This is getting ugly. Now, we can leave. We can abandon. This also increases stress, but it'll save the lives of our heroes. At the moment things are bad because he's got less than half health and he's also got a lot of stress and we don't have any food to heal him okay no quest here uh, no fight here actually I have an idea what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight to this room and fight and if this is indeed the last fight we'll save time you know going through here if it isn't then we'll just check these out because what happens is this might be the last battle and we go here do it and it turns out that was the last one so it'll save time going through here so what I'll do is I'll just turn on the light and go here so this is like this is the part of this game you have to think and improvise and make the best of the situation as the game says at the start Come on, be some food. Ah, he's going to steal it. That's a little bit of money. He didn't steal it, okay. Oh, damn, another trap I did not see. Watch he's dying. Step. He's dying. This is bad. Should we leave? How much health? More health. One hit and he's dead. Mm, 
And I'm hoping either of these two get a turn first and we can maybe heal him during the battle. This is a very risky move. He's got a lot of stress, he'll die. Shit. And they're not surprised. Alright, he got a turn. Come on, heal, heal. Big heal, big heal. Oh, he refuses to heal, see? Damn. Alright. And they dodged. Yeah, this is not looking good. Come on, Reynold. Don't refuse. Thank you. At least there is a chance now. Alright, now this guy up front, he can bleed. So Dismas is going to cut him. Alright, good thing. Oh, nice dodge, Dismas. Nice dodge. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Oh no, oh no. Oh, they put bleed on him as well. Shit, and we don't have bandages. And they pushed him out of place. Shit, 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 shit. He's dead, he's dead. He's cutting himself. Come on, man. Not like this. Yeah, at least take him out before dying. He'll die. Oh, he's going to die. Oh, nice dodge, nice dodge. <laughs> come on, come on. He, he'll die with the next. Shit. Come on, Narsi, heal, heal, heal. Oh, only one. Yeah, he's going to take one damage. Nice dodge, nice dodge. At least they're not targeting him. Can we save Reynold right now? Come on, man. Don't refuse the heal. Come on, please. Thank you. They were so close, man. That was so close. He would have died there. Because he does a lot of damage. We need him. Look at that. He has taken out both of the first two. Despite him being in such a bad irrational mood. Okay, she's got a bit of health. Come on, heal everyone. Thank you, Reynold, for taking the healing. Okay. See, Reynold is... Uh, Dismas is out of position. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, um... Let's remove the crap. Alright, let's see if we can heal him once more. Okay, look at that. Now he's almost up to full health, but he's taking another cut. Okay, we, we got this now. We got this. Desmos on a roll here. In current babbling. See, now Desmos, he's in fourth place. He has a turn, but he can't do anything. So I'll move him forward by two. Oh, come on, man. They just moved him up. Okay. He re resisted that. Uh, just heal. Just heal. Get everyone back to health. Okay. Now, let's see. Oh, nice dodge. Okay. see. Two... Can put a bleed on her. Nice one, Desmos. But resist it, okay. Okay. Nice dodge. Mm, let's try healing Reynold again. He refused, okay. Did you wash your hands? <laughs> he says. Okay. More debuffing. That they may stop fooling around. Yeah, come on, Reynold. He took out three of the four, and this was took out the other guy. A trifling victory. See, this is what I said. Victory, no I wanted place. to see if this was the last battle. It was indeed the last battle, and as a result, we don't need to go to the other rooms. And now this one here, I don't remember what we're supposed to do here. So let's try. An antique suit of armor stands amid the ruins. 
what do we use on the pseudo farm we don't really have anything let's try the holy water yeah exactly shouldn't have any effect uh, maybe a shovel to open it no torch maybe all right let's open it okay he got something I don't know what he got buff he got, he got a buff all right so we have completed the quest as I said this turned out to be the last one you can see there is a battle here but we were supposed to do the room battles only so we don't really need to do this and yeah these two rooms are empty because we did all the room battles the quest is complete we can go and Reynolds survived I did not expect him to survive he had four health when we came into this room room by room hall by hall we reclaim what is ours all right enough enough okay not a bad haul let's see resolve up flawed release my 5% crit range skills Ligophobia. Okay, Ligophobia. I don't know. Plus 20% stress if torch below 26. Okay. And she's become deadly. Oh. Back to the hamlet. Hopefully, the other buildings are open now. She has paid dearly for her. So, another shield breaker. Okay, I'll take her. That deserves better than this place. Okay, now we got the guild and the blacksmith open. So, let's look at the guild. Make no mistake, we will face ever greater threats. Instructor Our Mastery, allowing upgrading ready. hero combat skills to higher ranks and reduces cost of upgrading hero skills. Okay, and then we have the Blacksmith. Blacksmith blast once again. The allows weapon upgrades to rank 2, armor upgrade, and then of course cost reduce. So we'll do a little bit of that. We have a lot of money, so we can do that. But more than money, we need these things to upgrade. So we got 9 out of 10 people here. Let's check the coach, see if we have anybody interesting. We got another highwayman. Arbalist is uh, good in like position 4 and 3, I guess. Leper is actually a very interesting character. He's either very good or very bad. <laughs> Basically, um, he's a tank. You can put him up front. He'll take a lot of damage. He's like a frontline character. But he is very inaccurate so he often misses a lot so he can be a good replacement for Reynold in the first position because Reynold is stressed out we'll probably be giving him a break so we'll take this guy this man understands that adversity and existence are one and the same now we are full I would like to get another highwayman in there so what I can do is I can remove one of these guys or maybe upgrade so what I'll do is at the moment I'll remove since we have two shield breakers we'll remove one of them um, dismiss hero it doesn't cost us anything and so we'll take the second second high weapon because both our main guys dismiss and reno they're quite stressed so we can give them a bit of a break and um, come back later so now let's give a see if he's still praying he can only pray Reynold can only pray if you look at his God fearing in town will only pray for stress relief kleptomaniac unquiet mind so he'll not meditate he'll not and he'll only play uh, pray so I don't know if he'll flagellate himself. Now, the caretaker is taking up the spot, so we'll have to wait. See if we can upgrade the Abbey. Okay, we'll have to like leave him there for now. Um, can she also meditate or something? Minus 20% healing received. Fragile fear of beast okay I think we can put her to the cloister and hope she prays now this will cost us 1000 she will be uh, unavailable for the next uh, week okay so she can reduce her stress now 
doesn't mean all her stress will be gone but hopefully most of it she doesn't have that much like 50 or something um what else we can send somebody maybe dismiss can go drinking or something all right so he is drinking reynold only wants to pray so we'll have to wait when the room is free and what we could do is on the this guy is also in bad shape does he have any uh, he eats a lot when stressed. Ah, that's why we were missing a bit of food. He he was eating too much. Okay, let's see if he can uh, go and gamble or something, man. Okay, he is going to take that. So hopefully a little bit of stress is reduced. Now what we can do in the meantime is I'll show you the guild and the um, blacksmith. So first we'll upgrade a little bit. Um, let's go here and here. Every creature has a weakness. The and hero let's go to blacksmith. Will face. We'll upgrade a little bit. Now another thing we can do is we can switch these uh, the uh, heirlooms we get for another. So if we click here, we have too many of these busts. We can switch and get some of the other items if we want. Question is, is there enough? Not enough at the moment. Now I won't do another quest but hopefully this so far because this has been a long video this will take ages for me to edit as well what I want to do is just recap everything 10 um, heroes in the roster at the moment stagecoach every week and hopefully let me actually click on embark so you can see weld is uh, wield is open and we can go here so this one here Beat back the creatures and bandits that endanger traffic on the old road. Complete 100% of room battles. So now this is a different um, dungeon. And in fact, let me know if you want a part two. If you want, I can keep the save separate and continue with the tutorial here, I guess. But this one, the there are more. Uh, I think we have to take uh, and um, heroes that can do bleed. So basically. Ruins and Cove, you take people who can do blight damage, so like the Plague Doctor, for example. And Wield and Warrens, you take heroes that can cause bleed damage, so Desmus with his uh, cut attack and stuff like that. Reynold is very good in the Ruins because he's good against the Unholy. Now, these are considered the beasts. So, anybody who has a quirk, let's say, against the beast, you take them, or if they have a negative one, don't take them. For example, she is fear of beasts so don't take her on the warrants and the wheel unless until you remove that so for this one what we could do is if, since Reynold is under too much stress and he's also he won't go back he's under stress so we'll replace him with um, the leper he's good in the first position so if you see here one and two one one two three one so he's often in the first position now there are several characters who are good in the first spot uh, somebody like uh, the shield breaker one two and three one two three four one two three one two three she's a bit more flexible i guess so we can put her in two or three as well but usually first two positions are good for her uh, the backup highwayman slightly different so two one two three two three four two three one two three so he's actually we can work with him in the third place and then we have the second vestal three four three four three one two three one two so she has a couple of abilities that she can only use in the front positions mm -hmm. so this is a bit of a problem now okay let me actually show you one more thing before I go so we go here in the guild and put her here we can actually spend money and open these abilities so remember she's only doing stuff in like the first second position we unlock this one healing and we can unlock this one and now if we open her character we can see this one is in uh, one and two so uncheck this and we can use this and then we can uncheck this and use this so now 
we have these four abilities selected so three and four two three four three four three four and now this works better for us because she can use all her abilities and we can use her in the fourth position so you can unlock a few abilities now I just wanted to briefly go over the lepers abilities chop so he does attack on the first two enemies this one he hits both of them and then we have different let me actually go and unlock some of his abilities as well because we can switch them around now since the guild is open so we'll unlock the hue we'll unlock uh, the heal so this one he heals himself and also reduces his stress a little bit the leper has the most uh, health I believe from all the characters so he's quite tanky so we'll remove this one we'll remove this one we'll put this one we'll put this one so now we're going to use these four abilities and of course he's only really good in the first two positions this one he can use in the third place but yeah so far this is good enough so I won't go here now but if I was I would probably go here with this type of setup uh, the uh, do we have a bleed on this guy I don't think we have we can equip a bleed and this is a short one so we won't have a camping but yeah the more you play the more you unlock and so far I've only done two dungeons and it's taken based on the recording hour and 40 minutes Wow so yeah if you take your time and do one or two dungeons at a time you can be fine you can enjoy each run take your time look at all the abilities and the you have to prepare like I said and that will help so hopefully this was useful let me know if you want another one uh, sorry if I rambled on a bit but it's very difficult to quickly give you information if you are if you haven't played the game before because I could make a short 10 minute video use this use this don't do that those tips are good for people who have played a little bit at least but this sort of uh, tutorial style walkthrough is more useful if you haven't played it at all anyway thank you for watching if you did and I'll see you in the next one